Max and Zara's Mysterious Planet Discovery Chapter 1 The Mysterious Discovery In a big city, amidst tall buildings, there was a small house where a 12-year-old boy named Max lived. Max always felt a profound interest in the sky. Every night before going to bed, he would watch the stars from his window and observe the planets in the sky with his telescope. This had become a ritual for him. One evening, while roaming the sky with his telescope, he discovered a planet he didn't recognize. This planet was different from the others. It shined with purple and blue colors and had a strange aura around it. What could this be? Why haven't I noticed it before? He immediately wanted to inform his next-door neighbor, Zara. Zara was Max's best friend, and she was an alien. However, Zara's planet was very similar to Earth. So Max easily got along with her. Max ran to Zara's house. When he knocked on the door, Zara immediately opened it. Zara, come and see this right away. What happened, Max? Why are you so excited? I discovered a planet with my telescope that I've never seen before. Zara's eyes lit up when she looked through Max's telescope. She also saw this mysterious planet. This is really interesting. I've never seen this planet before either. I wonder where it came from. Both were eager to solve the mystery of this planet. However, the existence of this planet had not only attracted their attention. That very night, people and aliens from all over the city started discussing the existence of this mysterious planet. The next day at school, Max and Zara continued to talk about the mysterious planet. Max's classmate Layla and Zara's alien friend, Kiro, joined their conversation. I also watched a news report about this planet on TV last night. All astronomers on Earth are trying to solve the mystery of this planet. Yes, there are many researches being conducted about this subject on my planet as well. However, nobody knows where this planet came from or why it has just appeared now. Max, Zara, Layla, and Kiro decided to solve the mystery of this planet. They went to Max's house and started making a plan. Max and Zara's Mysterious Planet Discovery Chapter 2 Preparations In the living room of Max's house, the four friends were planning how they might reach the mysterious planet, using a large map spread out before them. Max brought out some notes left behind by his father. These notes contained vital information about traveling through space. In my father's notes, it mentions that we need an energy stone to travel in space. Where can we find such a stone? There are plenty of those stones on my planet. But we need to go there and fetch one. Once we have the stone, how will we reach the mysterious planet? We'll need a rocket. However, it might be challenging to find one on Earth. An idea sparked in Max's mind. There's an old rocket in my dad's garage. It was used for a space mission years ago. Maybe we can use it. The group rushed to Max's garage with excitement. Deep within the garage, covered with a dusty sheet, stood the old rocket. It was aged, but it seemed functional. This is perfect. But to operate the rocket, we need the energy stone. So, how are we going to get it? We should head to Zara's planet. However, it won't be an easy journey. Space is filled with numerous dangers. The group decided to journey to Zara's planet to fetch the energy stone. They worked on repairing the old rocket, gathering necessary supplies, and planning for potential hazards they might encounter in space. Are we all ready for this adventure? Yes, we are. We'll do whatever it takes to discover the secrets of this planet. This is going to be the adventure of our lives. We might unveil the secrets that govern peace in the galaxy. With newfound determination, the group set off toward Zara's planet, venturing into the vast unknown that awaited them in space. Max and Zara's Mysterious Planet Discovery Chapter 3 In Pursuit of the Energy Stone
traveling through the boundless depths of space. The four friends were making their way to Zara's planet. The silence of space, interrupted only by the faint hum of the rocket's engines, was both exhilarating and slightly unnerving. I never realized space could be this silent. Yes, but such silence can sometimes be deceptive. There are many unforeseen dangers in space. During their journey, they encountered an asteroid belt. Large and swiftly moving asteroids swirled around their rocket. How will we navigate through these asteroids? We need to be careful. We should reduce the rocket's speed and find a pass through them. With careful maneuvering, the group managed to safely navigate through the asteroid belt. But this was just the beginning of their journey. As they approached Zara's planet, they could see vast energy mines on its surface. They knew the energy stones were located in these mines. Where will we find the energy stone? There's a large energy mine in the northern region of my planet. That's where we should head. They landed on the planet's surface. The surroundings were filled with bright blue and green energy stones. However, the stones were guarded by native aliens of the planet. Are these aliens friendly or foes? They're natives of my planet. They're usually peaceful. But they can be protective over the energy stones. We should communicate with them and ask for permission to take an energy stone. Approaching the aliens. The group requested permission to take an energy stone. Recognizing the sincere intentions of the young explorers, the aliens granted them a stone. Now that we have the stone, we can head to the mysterious planet. However, another challenge awaited them on their return journey. Max and Zara's Mysterious Planet Discovery Chapter 4, Unraveling the Mystery Armed with the energy stone, the four friends soared through space in their rocket. However, on their return journey to Earth, an unexpected obstacle appeared. A massive spaceship blocked their path. This spaceship was unfamiliar to all of them. With its immense size and intricate design, it was evident that it belonged to a highly advanced race. Where did this ship come from? What do they want? We should be cautious. Perhaps they're after the energy stone. A communication signal from the spaceship activated their screen. On the display appeared a blue-skinned alien with luminous eyes. Greetings, young travelers. Why have you taken the energy stone? Hello, we come from Earth and needed the energy stone to explore a mysterious planet. I understand. However, that energy stone is highly valuable. Many races in the galaxy seek it. In the wrong hands, it could pose a grave danger. We seek only knowledge and peace. We promise not to misuse the stone for ill intentions. The alien leader sensed the genuine intentions of the young explorers and decided to assist them. He shared that the mysterious planet was once home to an ancient civilization, known throughout the galaxy as a symbol of peace. However, this civilization vanished long ago. If you explore this planet, you might reignite peace among all races in the galaxy. That's precisely our dream. To foster peace and harmony throughout the galaxy, the alien leader provided the group with information to safely navigate to the mysterious planet. Then bade them farewell. Upon landing on the mysterious planet, the group encountered remnants of the ancient civilization. Evidence of a peace treaty between aliens and humans revealed that both species had co-founded this planet. This is incredible! By uncovering the secrets of this civilization, we can establish peace among all races in the galaxy. Yes, the discovery of this planet marks a new beginning for the entire galaxy. After unraveling the mysteries of the planet, the group returned to Earth. This adventure not only strengthened their bond, but also kindled hope for peace throughout the galaxy. 
Max and Zara's Mysterious Planet Discovery Epilogue, A Hope Renewed Months after their grand adventure, the story of Max, Zara, Layla, and Kiro became legendary on Earth and throughout many parts of the galaxy. Their journey, filled with curiosity and determination, had unveiled the secrets of a lost civilization that once stood as a beacon of peace. The discovery of the ancient planet and its history brought about a renewed hope. Races from different parts of the galaxy began to communicate, collaborate, and share their knowledge. The story of the ancient civilization became a reminder of what unity and peace could achieve. Max's telescope, which had been the starting point of this incredible journey, now sat in a museum, symbolizing the endless possibilities that lay in the vast expanse of the universe. As for our young explorers, they continued their studies and research, forever fueled by the spirit of discovery. The legacy of their journey was clear. Even in the vastness of the universe, with countless stars and planets, unity, understanding, and friendship were the true keys to unraveling. The mysteries of the cosmos. Question. At the beginning of Max, Zara, Layla, and Kiro's grand adventure, which device did Max use to discover a planet he hadn't noticed before? A spaceship. B. Telescope. C. Radio. D. Compass. What do you think? Do you know the answer? Here is the answer. Telescope. Did you get the answer correct? Let's write in the comments whether you did it right or not. Thank you for watching.